Now, depending on the Android device you own, you may or may not have had a positive experience when connecting to various networks, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other things such as wireless data. This is because different OEMs handle these connectivity details differently. And Samsung is well aware that not all Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and wireless data connection is the same. This is especially true whenever we install an application that has to deal with one of these connectivity devices. So to fix that, Samsung has added a way to reset the network settings on the Galaxy Note 9. And that's what I want to show you how to do today. So again, this is very common to where people will make forum posts or send in emails saying, hey, my phone used to connect to my Wi-Fi network at work or my uh, Wi-Fi network at home, but it no longer connects. The same can be said for a Bluetooth device, whether it is a external Bluetooth speaker or some Bluetooth headphones. And especially whenever you're trying to connect to your wireless carrier's data network, there are just some issues that happen that prevent the phone from connecting to these devices. So to find this reset network settings option, we first just need to go ahead and open up the settings application. And from here, we're going to need to scroll down a bit until you see the general management option. Go ahead and tap on that. And just like the other troubleshooting steps that I've shown you recently, we're going to tap on the reset option. Now, instead of resetting our settings, which technically could help do the help solve this type of issue, and instead of doing a factory data reset, which again could help solve those issues, our first troubleshooting step to resolving these type of connectivity issues is by using this reset network settings option. So just simply go ahead and tap on that option right there. Samsung tells us what it's going to do if we proceed. It's going to reset all of the network settings, including those for Wi-Fi, mobile data, and Bluetooth. So again, just go ahead and tap on reset settings to proceed. And just as an official last confirmation, tap reset settings again. And as you saw, we were told that the network settings have been reset completely. So once you are told that your network settings have been reset, you should eventually automatically reconnect back to your mobile data. But for devices that you have connected to via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you're going to need to set those back up. So for example, even though my Wi-Fi is enabled, I am no longer connected to my wireless network. But naturally, all I have to do is put my Wi-Fi password in there, and now I am connected back to Wi-Fi. And the same is going to be for your Bluetooth connections. If you had Bluetooth devices connected, you're going to need to pair them back up. And as I mentioned, your 
cellular data connection should eventually auto connect on its own. If it doesn't seem to be happening automatically, I would recommend rebooting the Galaxy Note 9. And then once it boots back up, it should initialize that SIM card. And then you should be connected back to your mobile data. So there you have it. That is one single reset option that still keeps all of the data and all of our settings that we have set on our phone and just focuses on resetting the network settings for those times when our device just randomly seems to not connect to Wi-Fi or randomly seems to not connect to a Bluetooth Bluetooth device on the Galaxy Note 9.